Hello everyone, it's Ali from Titan. Welcome back to our channel. Just want to do a quick update at the beginning of this video. If you did miss the last video of our opening of Gypsy Queen, I just gave a little update on our shop here in Pedals Park, Florida. Because of the stay at home order, we are closed and no longer able to offer a curbside pickup. However, if there's anything you're interested in, whether that be supplies or product, please feel free to contact us through our website. Or if you're so interested, we are offering personal breaks on our channel as well, which I will put the link in the description down below that is available on our website and I will do my best today to get that updated with everything that we have in stock including I think we don't have any more series one we may have some jumbo boxes I don't believe we have any more hobby boxes but we do have a lot of gypsy queen baseball so if you've been enjoying those openings and you're considering it please feel free to take a look and we also have some football as well in terms of leaf draft booster blasters or blaster boxes the little tiny ones the little regular not metal leaf just regular leaf draft and we also have two boxes of the 2019 panini national treasures football available as well so if you hear any of those terms and you're like it sounds interesting i want to check it out please feel free to do so like i said i'll put the link in the description down below but enough of this i know that you clicked on this video to see me open yet another hobby box of tops 2020 series one baseball so quick let's put me in the corner all right now we can get started right here and it has been a bit of a while since I did open some Series 1. So hopefully I will still remember what all the sweet cards out of this set are. You know, we are looking for Bo Bichette rookies. We are looking for Gavin Lux, Aquino, different things like that. We want the gold parallels. I believe silver foils in here. I believe the gold foil is only in jumbo boxes. But... There are also different short prints and photo variations, so hopefully I don't miss any of those, but I feel like I will. So please feel free to point that out in the comments down below. Let's get started here with this glass topper pack. See what we got. You know, you can sometimes get autographs in these, so that would be awesome bonus. But I already pulled off the first card without announcing. We have a Fernando Tatis Jr. Box topper, Aaron Judge, Christian Yelich, Mookie Betts. So no parallels today. And then just the little Topps Baseball Series 2 promo card. I'm not sure if it will actually still come out on June 10th with all that is happening in the world anymore. Especially because we don't have any baseball going on right now. So what really is there to do when there's no baseball? So who knows? Let me actually get this out of the way. Recycle that. Get that out of here. I remember there being lots of inserts. Let me make sure I have adequate room on screen. Take care of everything. Let's go. First pack. We have some upside down cards. Gavin Lux, rookie card. I'll just pull that out. Travis Demerte. It looks like it could be a different. Nope, it has the same number on the back. Looked a little interesting. Was wondering if it could be a photo variation. We have a gold parallel of Mike Moustakas. Numbered 1402 out of 2020. It's so weird coming from Gypsy Queen right over to this product because the packs are so much thicker because there are just so many more cards per pack in this product than before. We have Elite Leaders Pete Alonzo, Barack Holt. It does not look like a short print. Now the hit guaranteed in this box is you get one autograph or relic card. So we may be getting an autograph, we may not. Hopefully we do get an autograph. I always love opening up autographs. We have a Hank Aaron of the Decade of Dominance inserts. Number DOD3. Not numbered parallel or anything, just a base. Our first insert of the box. Bryce Harper. Ooh, the cards are running away from me. We have a home run challenge from Mike Trout. You get to scratch that off. We have a Pete Alonso rookie cup card.
which we have the 35th anniversary insert Aaron Judge which is what these are what the style of the chrome box toppers are just chrome versions of these cards that is 85 number 69 for Aaron Judge We have a Nick Senzel 35th anniversary insert in this pack. I hope all of you that are out there watching are staying safe at home, are able to continue to be healthy, have lots of supplies, or at least a long lasting supply of toilet paper, all the essentials that you need, lots of food. I hope that you all are staying safe. There is Decades Best number 65 of Sammy Sosa. These are difficult times that we are going through. I know a lot of people are unfortunately losing their jobs. And I hope that I can bring a smile to your day. Whether that be because you enjoy my content or not. I hope it's because you like it, not because you're like, haha, look at this dumb girl who keeps missing variations in baseball products. I hope it's because you actually like my content. But even if it's not, if it makes you feel happy, I am happy to be able to be that person for you. Oh, we have a Jordan Rookie Cup. We'll put that here with the Gavin Lux that we have. We have a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Rookie Cup. The thing that was a bit frustrating about Series 1 this time around is it reminds me of a Panini product because... All the cards are not facing the same direction. I wish they would just come out all the same. It looks like we have something here. Perhaps that is a material relic that may be our hit of the box. Like a Major League Materials card, perhaps. I know they can sometimes be autographed, so if it was an autograph of relic, that would be nice. Looks like it is not. We have just received a Major League Material card. Oh, it's a black parallel, though, of Noah Syndergaard, pitcher for the New York Mets. Number 117 out of 199. It's kind of cool. Let me put that... Does it fit here? All right, I'll let that hang off screen. I will show it at the end of the video. As a little recap. Actually, I'm going to just put it here with our gold parallel. That way it's kind of like numbered stuff all in one pile nice if we could get a rookie black parallel in here those are one of also the big chase cards i think that is a black parallel hold on yeah it is we did get a rookie black parallel not one of the rookie people i was actually particularly rooting for It'd be cool if we got like a gavin lux a Bo bichette you were on, but we did get a rookie black, so that's awesome regardless. Travis Demerite from the Detroit Tigers. That is number 67 of 69, card number 57. Put that right there in our little hits pile, hits slash numbered card pile. That was cool. We did get a rookie black card. Definitely something you might want to hold on to just in case. Keep looking at the numbers on the back for photo variations. Either I have missed them or... I am not looking at the correct thing. We have a Mookie Betts Red Sox 35th anniversary insert. We have a Decades Best Aaron Judge insert. That is DB number 100. Right there.
you get a decades next insert of Pete Alonzo. That is card number DN11. So I put that down here because our insert piles just keep growing. We had Dylan C's rookie card. We just got an autograph him in our last Gypsy Queen opening. Sandy Koufax, 35th anniversary insert, number 55. A little Mike Trout card there at the back. Tops Now insert of Justin Verlander. TNR number 10. And Tops Now Review is actually the name of the insert set. Does that fit over there? Not really. Oh well. Well, went over here outside, just outside the screen. See, for me, I have to keep looking over at the monitor because I mean I am still holding, I'm holding the cards over the size of the playmat. Everything fits on the playmat. However, the camera at its height does not capture the whole playmat. So I have to make sure that. Everything is in view, but since I fixed the focus, you can't see stuff in the back anyways. It's not as big of a deal as it used to be. Omar Narvaez for the Seattle Mariners. We have a silver four parallel. Number, card number 318. Put that right there in that pile. Looks like we're getting towards the end of the box, I believe. Including this pack. We have six packs left. Looks like we have another silver foil in this pack. Got an Anthony Rendon silver foil. World Series highlights, number 239. Another silver foil. And loading up in silver foil parallels in these last couple packs. We have Roberto Osuna for the Houston Astros, number 141. Looks pretty cool. Just four packs left. Perhaps we can get a bonus hit. That's always nice. Dustin May, rookie card. Nico Horner, rookie. Labor Torres. Anything that looks a bit action-y, I always flip over. Or something that just looks suspicious. Decades Best, Chris Bryant. Number DB94. Anything that I see and I'm like, hmm, maybe? Possibly? Some kind of action variant? Photo variation? I am trying to flip over. Like I said, look at the numbers. However, I must have missed it because we are at the end of the box. And I have not found one yet. We have an Athletics Matt Chapman, 35th Anniversary Insert, number 78. We have the Top's Choice insert of Clayton Kershaw. That is card number TC8. Top's Choice. It's our first one of those per box. We are on the last pack. Let's see if we can get anything super awesome in this last pack. We have a Boba Shet rookie card. Good start, good start. We have a Fernando Testis Jr. rookie cup. We have a printing plate. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. We have a Jake Rogers, 35th anniversary insert, card number 44, and a printing plate bonus hit last pack. Very nice. That's cool. I have never opened up a plate in a baseball product before. That is of Shane Bieber for the Cleveland Indians, card number 304, cyan printing plate. Very cool. Wow, so that was a really cool last pack. So even though I probably missed our short print, that was definitely 
really fun opening for me. I had a really good time with that. We have a printing plate. Let's go over a quick review of our hits. Our little bonus hit of the Shane Bieber Cyan printing plate. We have, and they were all in a row too, for our rainbow foils. We had, well, mostly in a row, the last two were in a row. Roberto Osuna, rainbow foil. Anthony Rendon, rainbow foil. And Omar Narvaez, rainbow foil. We had a rookie black parallel as I grab a sleeve for this real quick. I'm always weirded out as to which way. Okay, so it should go in the sleeve this way. All right. Black rookie parallel of Travis Demerite for the Detroit Tigers, number 67 out of 69. We did get a black Major League Material relic of Noah Syndergaard, number 117 out of 199. A gold numbered out of 2020 foil of Mike Mustakas, 1402 out of 2020. To get a handful of nice rookie cards, we got Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette, and Jordan Alvarez. Our box topper chrome cards. We did not get any color, but we did get a Mookie Betts, Christian Yelich, Aaron Judge, and Fernando Tatis Jr. Handful of 35th anniversary non chrome inserts from Impact. One decade of dominance insert of Hank Aaron, non numbered. Looks like a black parallel, but it's just the coloring on this card. One home run challenge of Mike Trout. Sorry to everyone who had actually scratched these out for opening day, because opening day did not happen. I'm not sure if they're going to honor whatever new opening day date on these scratch up cards, or if, I don't know, that's something Tops needs to figure out. Decade or Decade's best inserts. We have Chris Bryant, Aaron Judge, and Sammy Sosa. One Tops Now Reborn, Tops Now Review, insert, sorry, of Justin Verlander. One Clayton Kershaw, Tops Choice. One Decades Next, Pete Alonzo. And that is all of our inserts for this box. Definitely, definitely enjoying this Rookie Black and Printing Plate. I find it pretty funny that actually we got the Rookie Black after I was talking about it. You know, it'd be cool if we got a Rookie Black. Perhaps if I was more specific, it'd be like, cool if we got a Rookie Black Bo Bichette. No, he is actually from St. Petersburg, Florida, but he is local, which is why I guess I just default to reference to him. I'm not sure where he went to high school, but I think we're around the same age, so maybe maybe I could be like, hey, I went to high school with Bo Bichette, except I never knew him, so that means nothing. But anyway, this was fun opening. It was good to come back to Series 1, something I hadn't opened in a while. Hadn't opened any since the original Hobby Box and Jumbo Box I opened when it first came out. The Jumbo Box, I believe, had a pretty good awesome hit. I don't know if I want to spoil it, but definitely go check that video out. My thumbnail, I'm like, so there was a pretty good hit in that, pretty good autograph in there. Definitely cool rookie autograph, a little bit of a spoiler there. But so I, I've actually done pretty well with our openings of Series 1 Baseball. Like I said, this, I don't know, I like plates. I know plates aren't as collectible in baseball as they are in products like Star Wars, but I still think anything that's a plate is pretty cool. It's like this card made all these other cards. I don't know, I put more value on plates, me personally. I collect sketch cards and plates. That's my thing, mainly. And then other stuff, but mainly sketch cards and plates. Anyway, you guys don't want to hear me talk about Star Wars in a non-Star Wars video, but if you do, make sure you go check out a Women's Star Wars case opening. I shelf a little bit of my collection, talk about Padme, how much I love Padme, different things like that. But this is baseball, and this opening is finished. So if you made it all the way to the end, which is now, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, a little thumbs up. If you have anything to say, please leave a little comment down below. Like if I miss a photo variation, or like a kind of alternate card where they do the retired players and put them on like a different card if i miss one of those let me know if i miss sp ssp variants anything if you have any i don't know you just want to say you know how you're doing i would love to hear how you guys are doing make sure y'all are holding up all right because we are like a little family here all 634 of us i think you know we're pretty good we're all together i hope everyone is doing all right and like I said, we are closed in the store, but if you're interested in ordering anything from us or having me do personal breaks, please contact us on our website or through any of the social media links listed in the description down below. But with that, I'm going to wrap this up, clean this all up, and I hope to catch you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. Bye!